This is Rahabu Ombamungu. Her family is from Burundi, but she was born and raised in a Tanzanian refugee camp after conflict forced her parents to leave their homeland. Six years ago, Rahabu's family left the camp and moved to Columbia, Missouri. We came in America because of war, and we lived in Tanzania for 11 years. Rahabu is 13 years old. She's the youngest of seven children. I met Rahabu and her family through a student organization that tries to provide some homework help to children who came here as refugees. I've been helping Rahabu and her sisters with their schoolwork for the past three years, and now I have the chance to raise awareness of the issues faced by young refugees as they enter a new school system in a new country while learning a new language. This is Trifani, Rahabu's 17-year-old sister. I didn't speak English when I came to the United States, so I had to take as much English class, ELA classes I could take. Like my mom's and my dad's, they don't know like school because they never really experienced school. So no, they don't help me with homework. They don't understand anything, but they do help us in many ways, like um, when we have our homework, we can't watch no TV or anything. They make sure that we did our homework on time, <laughs> we not be late in school. That's how they help us. Even though their parents can't give the kind of education support many people take for granted, Trifany and her sisters are doing very well. And then uh, this year, um, I don't know, like I don't, I don't have no ELA, I'm just like in all advanced classes, I'm good and two of the older sisters are enrolled in a community college. But I noticed Rahabu was not progressing in school as quickly as her sisters. Yeah, I'm really, um, cause I have like three classes there. Sometimes like I, I pay attention, but I don't understand. And I go for the teacher self, but it still doesn't help. And yeah, of course I have staring seizures. All I do is just stare. People might just think I'm just like normal, but I'm not. I'm like a whole, in a whole different world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, Rahabu has epilepsy, but her seizures are characterized by a brief loss of consciousness rather than the shaking that people usually associate with the disease. These absent seizures often go undetected, and they can interfere with the student's learning. I don't really know until, like, they're over something. Like, today, we did something, and, like, this teacher asked me for my name, and I'm like, I was, like, eating, and then he had to do, like, this until it was over, and then he was like, I'm like, what? He was like, the teacher asked your name, what's your name? Some of Rahabu's teachers don't know about the seizures, and the seizures happen pretty often because no one makes sure she takes her medicine twice a day, and many times she doesn't. On Friday, I went to the doctor, and they put it like something on my head, on my head, a monitor thing, EEG which meant it was kind of difficult. They just like see if you were, they just help you with, um, it helps you see what like a better medicine for your seizures, for my seizures. What will come of Rahabu's epilepsy and its possible effect on her school performance remains to be seen, but Rahabu won't let that uncertainty get in the way of what she's passionate about. I like to write like a first person's point of view. Yeah, it's not really hard unless like I have to think hard about like what I'm gonna write about. The secret attic introduction. Hello, my name is Alice Sick. People make fun of my name. I'm pretty sure my youngest sister will be a writer. She I get annoying by her. She has so many stories. I don't know what they're about. But I'm guessing she could be. She has no freckles and she's never she never wears makeup because she looks cute without makeup. Yeah, so.